But we begin with breaking news on the campus of Texas A&M, the scene of a controversial speech by the leader of the alt-right movement, Richard Spencer. Police had to step in to separate supporters and opponents outside Rudder Tower just a short while ago. Spencer, a known white nationalist, brought his message to the campus tonight. It was a message that sparked several demonstrations. His supporters listening at Rudder Tower, protesters holding a rally over at Kyle Field. Our Jennifer Bauer joining us live now at College Station with both sides of this story tonight. Jen? You know, things were mostly peaceful today, but late tonight, campus police did decide to close the student center at 9 instead of the usual midnight because things were getting a little heated. America, at the end of the day, belongs to white men. This is exactly the kind of speech that has a lot of people at Texas A&M upset. But tonight, Richard Spencer took the stage as planned and spoke on campus in front of a mixed crowd. Some supporters and some not. Spencer is known as a white nationalist with a white supremacy message. He was invited by an A&M alum to speak at the school. And because the university is public, permission for the event could not be denied. Texas is a wonderful place to live. And there are a lot of, white, of the white man's bones in the ground to make that happen. While all of this was happening inside the student center, across the street at Kyle Field, there was an Aggies Unity Rally. University administrators and even some star athletes gathered to send a very different message. We're not going to let anybody else define what Texas A&M is. We tell them and we tell the world what Texas A&M is. Throughout the afternoon, groups of protesters gathered on the campus. I respect the right on a state university that Richard Spencer has free speech, but so do we. So we don't like him here. We, he's not welcome here. His values are not ours. Into the night, the group of protesters grew larger and louder. From above, you can see how big the crowd was. That the alt-right, or yeah, as they want to call themselves, white supremacists, do not represent Aggie values. Now, both of those events, the Unity Rally and Spencer's speech, lasted a couple of hours. We're live in College Station tonight. I'm Jennifer Bauer, KPRC, Channel 2 News.